Very happy to be back at Silverado Vineyards. They've invited us back to film and talk about their Chardonnay, and we're sitting here on their patio, arguably one of the prettiest spots in all of Napa Valley. And today we're gonna to meet Russ Weiss, general manager of Silverado. So wait till you see what we have in store. I did not know Stag's Leap used to all be Chardonnay. A lot of Stag's Leap was planted in a lot of what we consider kind of cooler climate varietals because, you know, obviously prohibition took away generations of people who even thought, you know, they should even be in the wine business. Right. And so when we came at the other end of that, there wasn't really the tradition. So we really relied heavily on our on our great university, which is UC Davis. Mm -hmm. And the professors there were like, well, this is too close to the bay, the temperatures are cool, too cool, there's too much wind. Uh, you need to plant Gewürztraminer demeanor and Chardonnay and maybe a little Pinot. So a, lo a lot of this was in uh, Chardonnay and what we call the aromatic varietals. I mean, it was Gewürz demeanor right. and some Riesling and stuff like that. Yeah, it's really, really fascinating. That's one of those little wrinkles that Prohibition gave us was that uh, we didn't really quite know what we were doing. Right. <laughs> and you got some local knowledge. Right. <laughs> kind of right. help that out. Right. Well, what are the telltale signs of your Chardonnay, and what is it that Jonathan or the winery tries to get from the fruit? Right. So now we know that actually Chardonnay needs to be even further south, right, right. on top of the San Francisco Bay, where, where it's really cool, where it's the first to see the fog and the last to see it go, right? Okay. First to see it come. And we have two uh, little vineyards down there dedicated exclusively to Chardonnay, and they're both really different. The body yeah. on it is amazing. Right. So, you know, the fun, I mean, can't even have fun is this, right? So what we do for a living, right, is right. to decide, okay, how much of that vineyard and, you know, how much of that vineyard is, is going to end up in the right. estate. A little pinch of this. Right, right. Try yeah. it again. Right. <laughs> right. Have exactly. the staff back over. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> so tell me a little bit about the 2009 vintage. You know, we really, we really had some, mm. some terrific, bright, sort of core fruit, you know, uh, flavors. So, so the wine has a tendency to be super generous now at this stage, uh, creamy, mm -hmm. uh, you know, rich across the palate, but with this lively kind of, uh, you know, fruit quality that's that's you know makes your mouth water and kind yes. of makes you want to have another bite or whatever it is that you yep. ought to be having. And I know, Mr. and Mrs. Miller are very very big into charity and philanthropic causes. So tell me a little bit about how you came to know Cellar Angels and, and why that's important to them and you. So it was just such a natural fit for us to think about, you know, putting together what you do at Cellar Angels, which is, I mean, it's so great. I mean, I, I mean, how wonderful it is to, to choose a bottle of wine and also say, oh, by the way, if I check this box, something that's near and dear to my heart is also going to benefit from me having a great time. Right. <laughs> right. I mean, that's right. It's simple concept. <laughs> it's, it's a pretty simple concept, <laughs> and, it, and it's a wonderful one. And and since it's really part and parcel of everything that we do on a day-to-day -day basis, whether it's the Adopt a school program that we're part of, or, mm -hmm. or 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 the, you know, supporting the performing arts here in the Napa Valley, or or education. That was a real treat for me, and hopefully it was a treat for you. If you are looking for an oaky, buttery Chardonnay, this is not for you. But if you're looking for something with has that delicate balance of acidity and just makes you want to have another glass, please try the Silverado Chardonnay. Thanks so much. <laughs>